At the Faye What Show, we need to help my gay boys. And in our segment called Dear Faye, I provide my expert lesbian knowledge and my vast experience as a living, breathing gay boy in a lesbian's body to help my fellow gay boys. This week, Albert, which is not his name, sent me an email. You ready, Ed? I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Dear Faye What and Cutie next to you. My partner and I have been talking about bringing a third person into the bedroom for a while. We hit our five-year mark recently and decided to finally give it a try. Both of us were excited as it seemed like the next logical step in our sex life as a couple. You wouldn't think it would be that complicated, except apparently we both have completely different ideas about who this guest should be. He likes someone nerdy, talkative, twink types, and I'm more into a mysterious manly men. Anyway, we've talked about the various people we know in our lives who might be good candidates to approach, but every time I suggest someone, he is totally against him and vice versa. Last weekend, we decided to go to the manor and point out guys we both might be into. Every time I pointed to someone, he'd veto my pick. And when he suggests someone, I had no interest in his choice either. It was almost comical. I'm not sure what we should do. We both want to explore together, but are not on the same page about who to do it with. Sign Albert. Have you ever been in that situation? No. No, I am up. not down for it. I I just it's I'm I'm a little old school when it comes to this. Um, I feel like when I'm with somebody, um, you are my person. Mm -hmm. um, you're my partner. You're my lover. You know, and I don't believe in inviting another person in the bedroom. I think that it just brings a whole bunch of potential chaos into mm -hmm. our relationship. I've seen relationships where people have done this. And it's and not ended well, and so I am just not. Yeah, I'm not for it. Yeah, you know? no, I know, and 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 to boys that do it, please, you know, yeah. if everybody's on the same page, if communication is set, and you both agree on who's on who's your third, then please, if it keeps your 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 couplehood better, if it works for right. you, go, go for, for it. it. You know, um, like Edward, you know, uh, unfortunately, I, I tried this in past relationships, and I got left. Yeah. Okay, yeah. like the two girls left and left me in the middle of Hollywood, yeah. California, right? But I deserved it because I was the one who invited this third person. person yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, I invited yeah. the chaos yeah. into a bed that was totally fine. Right, right. And, and I think, to, to your point, Faye, if people are secure in a relationship and they feel like, you know, they want to open it up and go for it, have at it, you know, I think we, that's the beauty of, like, being in our community is that yeah. we get to make these decisions and we get to do it, right? There's no judgment. I just find that it just story after story that I've heard from friends and others that it just hasn't worked. You know, I've heard of so many stories where, you know, all of a sudden one partner goes and starts to sneak around because they've enjoyed yeah. having that other person in a the bed. They yeah, got yeah, a taste yeah. of it. Or, you know, I literally right, right before I moved down here, I lived in a town called Poughkeepsie, New York. Um, and my neighbors, my, I lived in a gay neighborhood, right, in Poughkeepsie, where I lived in a horseshoe with all the gay couples or whatever. And so a couple lived... You know, 10 doors down from me and uh, they have been together for like, like almost 20 years. They got wow. married in Canada even before it was legal in the United States. And um, they finally opened their relationship up and then what does one of the partner do? They go up with a 20, like two year old young guy oh. and like literally up and their life. They had a house that they paid off with their like cake, cake baking company. Um, so they, they were their business. bakers. They were bakers. God, the story's getting sadder listen, and sadder. Listen, they, they were bakers. They had a house that was paid off because they paid it off with their baking business. They, they had a strong, solid relationship. They had a dog grooming business. They had all these things together. So they ended up splitting. Right. And then so one partner left with the 22 year old and go, what does the 22 year old do? They end up inviting in another person into their bedroom and a 22 year old boy just jumps ship. Leaves, leaves with the new person. And then leaves the guy pretty much destitute because he lost everything. And the divorce. business, the house and the marriage. He lost that. everything because he was the one that like sort of went out in a relationship. Oh, so he ended up giving it to his God, ex. And then I... now he is just like left, left with nothing. And so not that this happens all the time. Like there's some people who do this. They open up their bedrooms and they do it successfully. And that's great. I just always worry. And especially with a couple who their 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 selection of men is so different. Mm -hmm. I worry about the implications of bringing anybody in because all of a sudden, once they do agree on somebody, it's likely not going to be a person that they both agree with. Yeah. So one of them is going to like that person more than the other because they clearly have different tastes. Completely. And so what does that do and how does that open up the relationship? And so I worry about the slippery slope that happens because once you open it up and you have that little fun. You can't close it. You can't hard, close it's, that it's, latch it's, anymore. It's hard to close it. Yeah. And you and get you that one taste and then you're like, 
you want more. And you want more. And you can have the understanding and all that. But you know how we are. If we think we can get away with something, we try to get away with it. So, That's like, why true. entice? Like, why even put it in front of them, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, why give them the opportunity to fuck up? That's yeah. what... You know, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. maybe it's the universe telling you something. If both of you can't decide on one person, maybe you should just let it go for a couple of months and revisit it. Yeah. Like maybe next year or something. Just because maybe it's a godsend that you haven't been able to both agree on one person. You know, I just per, per, perhaps too. Maybe you want to mix things up in a bedroom. Maybe you're not mixing it up enough. And so, like, there's a lot of different things that you could do in a bedroom, True. right? Maybe you want to introduce toys, or maybe True. you want to role introduce play role play or and... something, or or maybe get an escort. Maybe if you guys can pay for the third person, then that way you get your taste, and then right. maybe it's not something that you want, but the person's paid for. So once they're done, they're done, and they go on about their business. That's it, right? Yeah, we just right. solved your problem, Albert. There you go. You okay. see, we just solved your problem. Good luck, Albert. And if you do find that third, even if you buy him, send pictures. Yes. Thanks. Videos. Video, video, videos. Videos. Oh, videos. Oh, my God. What was I thinking? Thank you, Ed. You see? If you have a problem, send it on over to us, and we'll definitely help. Send it on over to Feywa at happeningout.com. Thank you for the email, Albert, and good luck.